Right here. The C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No. There's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. You think it's a trap? I don't know. But I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. So we've still got a we've still got like three more yet? Yeah, you can check them up for Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. where you need to go. Bomb, bomb, bomb. All right, so we're almost back at the. Is that the first one we went started at? Well, we started at A. There, so all right. yeah, I see, I see. Cool, cool. Does that mean we can go go back and get the tranquilizer? I think so. I think it's in strut F. Oh yeah, there's bad people in there. Isn't there? There's like two, <laughs> two yeah. people. Birds. <laughs> But at least I know what I can see where they're looking though. Yeah. Uh, it's like down and he's going, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the biggest thing with this game is just to have the confidence to run. Yeah. You know, like, they won't hear your footsteps, you don't have to be that stealthy. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mind detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Well, that was weird. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. He's definitely dead. He's definitely dead. <laughs> Exercise extreme caution. Okay. Mind Just, detector. You don't have one. <laughs> you can use thermal goggles. However, look at the fucking radar. There's a dude with binoculars out. Good love you. Oh, yeah. And... He will spot you is he if, if you run out. Does he take out a ball from up here? Oh, yeah. Just Cap him. Watch out a sniper. Cap him. Boom. There you go. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Right. right. Thermals. Terms. Get them terms on. You, you remember how to get rid of you them. You just crowd. Well, you go prone and, like, walk over him, don't you? Yep. Well. You know. Oh! You good. Adjust. <sighs> Thought he was gonna stand yeah. up then. One thing, you, if you cr if you crawl in and you go up to a wall, he'll stand up. Right. Okay. I take it these will stay there the entire game unless I pick them up. Uh, or I think I think they respawn okay. after a certain time. It's useful to have them. Oh yeah. In fairness, you're not doing too badly considering like. Usually you should play this on easy because you get to start with the tranquilizer. Right. Okay. And then just take guards out willy nilly. I forgot completely forgot where we were. All right. Yeah. You're going the right way. Don't worry. Okay. No radar again. You know the way out of this room though. You've played VR. I have. You can direct you to the node if you want. Uh. No, I'll move. He would have spotted you. Yeah, I'll work it out. It's holding it. Yeah. Don't worry. Get dragging him. Do. 
Ooh, there's a magazine. Oh! <laughs> oh, he was looking at it. He wasn't, he was yawning. I saw a flash though. Oh man. There's another guy. Get get out of here. Go go jump into a room. Not there, not there, there's a bomb in here you need to dispose of. Right, right, just um That way. Hide in the room. Oh there's a mine detector. You could open the door and peek. Good. Jump across the room. Sorry, I'm backseat gaming here. It's but... fine, dude, it's fine, because I will be lost. Alright, it's caution. Sweet. Fucking did it! <laughs> Get in there. Right, that's all of the nodes. Soon I will be able to do <laughs> Shadow Moses on yeah. the European Extreme. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Look at the map. What what's what's it telling you about this room? Um there's a thing you did this way. Yeah. Ah, sneaky. Keep that equipped. And that that's how you get to that other room basically. Alright, oh, I see. And there's something in here that will come in handy, I think. Muchos in handy. Muchos. Suppressor? Yep. Oh, okay. move, 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 move. I think you have to equip it though. To your gun. Yeah. Equip equip the suppressor. Oh, that's up here, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. And then the gun. There you go. Is that just that's right, it's suppressed it's now? It's on. Sweet. So where's this actual fucking bomb? The game will get much easier now. So the bomb's not in here though. Not in here. Oh, I've got to go back around. You can climb over the over the box. One next to it. There we go. Dude. Wait a sec. Don't forget that that other guard comes and patrols down here as well. I'll move this shit out of the way. Take your time and just think I'll, about I'll what dump you do. Yeah, that. that's plenty out of the way. Yeah, best thing to do is just don't panic. Just I see the bomb. Yeah. Oh, Hell do I look around the room? Try first person. Stairs. I suppose I could drop down. Yeah. Might work. No. Right. I I guess I can drop on car. Yep. Click. Nice. Got it. Right. How the heck do I get that? Do I have to drop down from over there? Yeah. I can take care enough to go back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just in case. <laughs> Forget you can shimmy along. What do you mean? While you while you're hanging, you can uh, yeah, move yeah, yeah. left to right. Bingo. Magazine. Book. Oh. 
And that, that'll be in your uh, your weapons menu. Oh, okay. And it works very similar to the Claymores. Publication with adult orientated material full of girly photos and interesting columns. I read it for the articles, I swear. <laughs> right, so I can use that as like a plop, plop down and it'll distract. Yeah. Sound. Um, next row. Before it? you leave, oh. check all the rooms. <laughs> Remember, you've Excuse only me. got a level one card. Take it, it's not like one where I have to, do I have to equip the card? No, no, no. It's just auto. Not in this one. Uh, I don't think I explored everything upstairs. No, no. I think there's only one room you can go in. That's back the way. Alright, yeah. I'll come back. I hope that they don't respawn, do they? Oh. Oh, hello. Jack, do you remember the day we met? I'm kind of busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There are all these tourists around you, in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler Building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler Building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State, it was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. <laughs> if it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Yeah, I bet she saw you, King Kong. <laughs> oh, them two. And the it's cute. Romance drivel. It's cute. I think it's weird, though, that his girlfriend is, like... Yeah, that is a bit weird. ...is just suddenly on this mission. Does she... Does she have any, like, experience, like, military, like... Look, I think they were saying before that she's, like, a military analyst right. sort of person, you know? Wait a minute. What's that tucked behind the corner over there? There you go. Tranquilizer. Boy. Boy -oh. I was just a bit skeptical then because I'm thinking, how many times have we walked into a room, Metal Gear 1? With lasers. With lasers or a bomb. Oh, that'll come, that'll come. <laughs> I'd get that ammo as well. Alright. You've got the gun now. Level three. FA right, this is where we want to be going. Yeah. It's only the A A strut left now, isn't there? Oh, oh and the uh, yeah. And B. That's cool, that's cool. No worries. Oh. Cypher. <laughs> Get down. You can shoot them. Wait, I don't want to use my You can sh shoot it shoot it with your so called man. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Sweet. Hmm, where did he go? He went to the lower level. He's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you batty. Alright, he's going. No, I'm not. Wrong way. I'm such a cock up. Die. He's got bu bulletproof armor on. <laughs> Fucking god damn it! Run to the roof. Run to the roof. It's this way, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Dead. No, nope, keep that on. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is just funny. Might be mine. Um. You good? Get in a box. Or not. <laughs> All right, I didn't realize it kind of snaps, snaps too. Come on, die. I forget they'll just keep spawning. Jump in a box. <laughs> and just hide, stay still. Jeez. Don't panic. When when you get alerted, don't panic. Just. I shouldn't break, have. I shouldn't have break, had my. First thing you do when you get spotted is break line of sight and just hide. I should have turned my thermals off straight away. I probably fucked you up saying they were mines. It's alright. Is anyone gonna come back up here? Because I did kill like everybody. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're sending a replacement. Don't worry. Right. AP center. It's not the AP sensor. Check first, mines. There will at some point be mines here in like these little. Uh, will this just show on the map when this is equipped? When the mine detector, yeah. Like in, in these little side rooms before you go into the door, like at one point it'll change and this roof will have mines on it. Right, okay. Just keep that in, in mind. Alright. Whack that back on. Chill. Main car. Tranquilizing out. I don't want to do unnecessary killings. Okay. Someone over there. Can I crawl under there? No. There are a couple of pipes you can crawl under. Some of them are pointless, like this one. <laughs> yeah. That guard's coming back. Will they see me under it? Oh, fucking... Not if you crouched. Stop there and wait yeah. for them to pass. Nothing here. <laughs> nothing, you see nothing. Focusing. No worries. <laughs> can't What's try a fucking can't try collide a fucking camera, can you now? Right. Sir, trank uh, sir, camera one has been tranquilized. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> sure, I can. Nope. What a douche. Look at it in first person view mode. Look down. You can't fucking crawl under that, Aaron. Come on. What? What? I'm an idiot. Right. There's races. Yeah, I reckon. Nope. Nope. So that's pointless. Surely it's this one. Yep. So you're right. Yep. <laughs> I will get this crouching thing so to the left. Eventually. Move. <laughs> what? Right, in 
when you crow, uh, when you prone, if you go in first person view, Raiden has no physical body, so you can turn and face whichever way you need to. And you'll be pointing in that direction. One thing you can't uh, can't cr uh, move while yeah while doing that though. Ring, ring, a ring, ring. Right. I don't see you anything. Can, you can keep crawling. There's a place you can keep crawling to. Aho! Ho, ho! There you go. Little blocked. I got this. One more to go. I'm sure that probably took like twice as long as this is right. as normal. But... The C4 found in Strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Ryden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. These are sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Ryden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay. It'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. Uh, what do you mean? That bomb, five years ago. I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And the church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. <sighs> I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield and it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins.
I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs, then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for peg leg, Peter. He's gone for good. <laughs> so Pete's gonna have to, uh... He's gonna have to sneak through that big reflecting pool area where you kept getting spotted. Alright. And I bet he's gonna do it without a problem. Oh, yeah. What a crook. I know, right? But uh, I can understand. Yeah, you know where he's coming from, sort of thing. Oh. I'm not being fooled by this fucking crouching business again. <laughs> it's like an assault course, isn't it? This is. There's a box there. Do you want it? Do I have to go back all the way in there? <laughs> I really don't give a shit about the cardboard boxes. Is it going to help me in any way? Nope. Other than my other boxes? Nope. In that case. <laughs> I guess there's only one way I can go back out then. Yeah. Um, so now it's just... Just the one bomb? Struck B. Baby bombs. And then there's these other scentless ones that... Uh, Pliskin discovered. Oh yeah, there was a guard in there, weren't there? Yeah. At one point. Hey look, full circle. Right, see if you can do it this time. <laughs> you've got you've got your strength gauge up as a or your grip gauge, you'll be able to hang on to the ledge. Uh, noisy bits of flooring. Hey, <laughs> should have done this first time round. Yep. Yeah. Oh shit. It's good. It's right. Let's run. Oh, get up, get up, move. Oh, run for fuck's sake. I tried. Don't worry about it, Aaron. I'm a warrior. Use a bandage. You don't have time to sit down. You've got to press X on it to use it. Yep. <laughs> the guy behind you as well. Those guys are still coming. I know. He had to get his fucking binoculars out. <laughs> right, I've gone too far. Yeah. But I need to evade. Will they, see, will they still keep coming? Oh yeah. If I still, what if I in this box? It might be okay. <laughs> Propped up right here. Do not look here. Oh, that worked. Okay. See? Just chill out. Alright, the box is good. The box is good. If you just chill out and think about what you're doing, you should be okay to just go back in there. 